more about this. So that's how the raw thing became, was because of there. And while we were there, we had colonics. So has anybody done colonics before? Because that's kind of interesting too. Get a tube in your tush. <laughs> and we have a colonics lady here. And so, um, so when I got back from Sauna B, because we had did colonics, I needed uh, someone to do it, you know, to be able to continue it on here. So Sophia has um, been my colonic lady. <laughs> and so, um, and then my husband. So at the time we had went to Sauna B, that was November. Since then till now, he's lost 36 pounds. If you eat a North American diet, you're going to have North American, you know, diseases. So, so that's why, you know, us coming together and really creating a support team for all of us who want to eat better and healthier and more. It's really, really important to clean your gut at the same time that you are changing your life, lifestyle. And uh, just, uh, uh, I just want to share a little story. I, I just came back from Panama and I was teaching colonics there. They are opening like an amazing spiritual healthy resort say in each 10 colonics, one doesn't have yeast. And this just shows how our diet is. And there, it's not that the diet is perfect. Uh, they don't really know the concept of organic, but naturally it's more organic. But definitely they don't need the amount of processed food that we do in this culture. And there's not so much sugar. So they eat lots of fruits and vegetables every day, every day. I couldn't find one person in 60-something colonics to show the, the doctor, this is East. <laughs> so that's... And then the other thing we had did too was the, the blood analysis. Has anybody ever done that? And that's really interesting to see your cells, you know, live and moving around. And out of my six friends, I actually have the best cells out of all of them. And the thing is, I've had six kids, so I just had a baby like two years ago. So I've been having babies like since I was probably, I don't know, 18, 19 years old. <laughs> and so every decade, I think I had a baby, or a couple of babies. Yeah. And, um, you know, just to see my body of having six kids, that I was still able to maintain my health as well as I was able to. When you cook anything, you lose 50% of the protein, so you get a lot of things in, in the fruits and vegetables that you don't get otherwise. And so um, we've had some great results with it. We had Bill Barlow at our office a couple months ago. We did a 10-day juice cleanse. Bill lost 200 pounds in one year. He lost 200 pounds last year through raw foods and juicing and really saved his own life. So we flew him in and he and I led a 10-day juice cleanse. Is there anybody who wants to ask the first question? Is he still on raw? Okay, so the first question is, are you still eating raw foods? Man, I that's the first question every single time. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'll tell you that uh, Ollie is probably rolling his eyes right now because the last time I said I'll answer this shortly, it was like a 20 minute answer. <laughs> I'll try my best. Uh, Paul Reitz is, is the person who I've learned the most from in, on this to answer this question. And, and the answer is I eat intuitively. And I am uh, what my mom calls a flexitarian. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a perfect term. It, ma it, ma it matches exactly what I am, and I'll explain it really quick, hopefully. Okay, so I eat intuitively, and that means that um, eating in our society is such a uh, emotional, it's such a friends, go out with friends, do this sort of thing kind of, kind of situation. It's... it's almost a religion, you know, what you eat and all this kind of stuff. And people form their lives around what they eat. And so what I learned to do was listen to my body. My body tells me I need something. I will find a very healthy way to accommodate that. At the same time, trying to keep in harmony with everybody around me. For example, if it's Thanksgiving, I don't eat meat. I try not to eat meat but I'm not going to totally screw up the harmony of a whole holiday with my family, with everybody around me because of that. So if I go to holiday, uh, if I go to a Thanksgiving dinner with my family, uh, my mom spent eight hours creating a meal that includes cooked food, that includes cheese, that includes meat, but every second that she's making that, that meal, she's pouring her love into that meal, and then I show up 
And I say, look down my nose at her, and I say, I'm not eating that. You know I don't eat meat. You know this, you know that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to be healthy. I've just totally screwed up the harmony of, of the whole holiday. And so I've alienated everybody around me. I've made the whole situation really, really bad. Okay? So it's about flexible. It's about being intuitive. By me creating a scene, by me creating the, uh, and, and the negative energy around that situation, I would actually be doing more harm to myself, my own body, physically, I believe, and everybody else around me than if I just joined in and ate that, that food that was made with love and, and let it nurture my body the way that the love that was, that was prepared for me.